Hi guys, Mr. Yeager here, and welcome back to the Imperial Front. In the last episode, we did a bunch of things. Um, <clears throat> or in or in actual fact, the last episode of part two, technically, um, we did a bunch of things. Because uh, basically that ginormous episode came out. Nearly a million, holy crap. Uh, yes, yeah, so a ginormous episode came out uh, where I probably spent nearly two hours just fighting and scrambling and doing whatever I could to achieve victory. And somehow we were able to achieve that said victory. So at the moment now, what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be trying to rebuild some form of order. Uh, we are at the moment uh, trying to get our supplies and upgrades being um, sent in. I might prioritize equipment for a reason. Yeah, I have, I have a priority. Upgrades and stuff is important, but right now we have to prepare to push. Uh, we finally got the symbols back again, so I think there was a bit of an issue in regards to... Let's turn that, down that music. There we go. So, we finally got some... We've got the symbols back for the enemy, so now we can actually see their icons, which is a bonus. And uh, we're now in the process of trying to get our armies ready and willing, because a lot of my armies at the moment are sort of equipped. The s mostly strong army to the... Um, to the north here is got plans to basically push down to this location so we're just going to be trying to push alongside um there we go down there it's, it's taking its time unfortunately but hmm probably have to shrink the front lines down a bit but then that means there's not much left for everyone else so we are trying to sort of win the land war against the pan pacific empire a little sooner rather than later and, uh, yeah, I think the time has come to launch the attack, if you want to start pushing. At the moment, we're just, we're just at this point, we're just trying to push on through. We've been fairly successful. Um, the war has taken a long time to win, unfortunately. But I think Ursh is now finally a... Ur area tech has been taken. Good shit. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And I, don't, I think we need to have some rubber processing. Or should I go for... You know what, let's get the mines first. So yes, we've been trying to fight the war against the Pan-Pacific. I know that I'm supposed to try and build some form of uh, APCs and all the other glorious creations that our Divine Emperor has given us. But unfortunately, I just don't have the facilities to actually utilize them. Which is a depressing shame. Right. I think we might need to edit the front lines a little because they are extending in a little bit of a silly form. There we go. Right, let's see if that works. Right, they're gone. Dalian is gone, which is good. We have to become obviously aware of the fact that there is a shitload of potential naval invasions going on. Hopefully, though, once we've secured a large portion of the Pan-Pacific Empire, uh, which unfortunately does now involve Australia. Uh, I wasn't aware of just how big this empire was until... Until I took them out, so, you know, fun times be coming. Right. So, not really needing to do that. Uh, where did half my division... I okay. Delete that. And delete that. You... Only need to go this far. You lads, um, continue on with this job. May name North China. Oh, of course. Right. Uh, I think these guys are the only. <laughs> I say only. They're the only groups of people left. Um. Counter invasion force. Right, we'll assign you to Mr. Yu. And you are to head back to save the day and try and stop them from counter invading because they will counter invade because they're assholes. Northern China, Eastern China. Oh, come on! Fuckers. Uh, I'm looking forward to just worrying about these guys. Right, these guys. 
Your task is simple. Push. Go. They are surrounded and without supply. They will. We will struggle to deal with the incoming troops, which is a problem. Right. You go to here. No, you go to here. Grab King Tao. They're just going crazy with the naval invasions. Right, they've gone. Good. All of you, down south. You and you, deal with that. You and you, deal with that. Now, I know that the other guys are going to start coming along and saying, Hi, right, improved computing machine. Good. That's going to give us a bit of a chance. Encryption. Right, so what we can hope to do here is basically keep on pushing and taking out all of the enemy targets. You, I need you to go way more aggressive. This particular war has definitely been disjointed, I'll tell you that. And I'll looking, uh, looking at the past, I can probably safely assume that this particular conflict is may not have been the most logical, if you will, in terms of... Right. You lads, focus on that conflict. Just push. Right. Once we've taken care of that group, we can then go down south to deal with them. Right. Our naval invasion needs to breach through. This is why I love these custodians. They're just that good. And the important thing is, every time we kill a bunch of these guys, as much as it's annoying to deal with this sort of thing, it is destroying their naval cap or their invasion capacity. You know, they can they can't transfer troops across. They can't do this. They can't do that. We are killing their troops. That's it. You know, sort of thing. So as much as it's a pain for them. Well, for us to deal with, it's one group more of enemies that we get rid of. It's another cluster of a thousand or two thousand troops to come out of. You know, it, it, it's un undoubtedly ooh, over. Wow, we were so quick that we actually passed them by. That is hilarious. Right, that's why I call you my auxiliary marine. Right, okay, so you're taking care of that. Good. Um, okay, so either Prometheum or expanded reserves. I think we need fuel because we're going to get fuel. Anyway, from the other stuff, so... Question. Why aren't you just pushing in? Just push in. Not that hard. They're all fucked. And our armies are struggling in the north, so... I mean, that said, they're not doing that bad. Considering. The army... I mean, admittedly, this is the difference between a well-supplied army... And a, a well-supplied army and a not-so-well-supplied army. Though that said, I think we are finally getting a handle... On all of the um, upgrades, which is a good thing. Not gonna lie. Now we just have to somehow come up with some naval capacity. Right, so I think we're finally gonna have to start looking into. Alright, fantastic. So you're taking care of that. You can do something of what I have no idea. We need to invade the island of Japan. That's their capital. So maybe if we're lucky. Maybe we could somehow, I don't know, uh... Right, okay, I want you to start researching ships. Um, I'm thinking maybe some cruisers. I've never done anything in, re in regards to navy, though, so I have no idea. Eastern China, naval invasion, no, whatever shall we do? I know! <laughs> Right, we're being sabotaged, but if we can force these bastards to make surrender the Lang. Hello, Shanghai! Why aren't you pushing? If there's nothing there, then go for it. I've, I've, I've told you to attack. Push towards Poisson. Or Poisson, or whatever you want to call it. Um... You lads, push over to this front line. Oh. One disadvantage of having... Uh... Right. One disadvantage of having this sort of front line is that because you're in the same war as everyone else, everyone thinks, hey, it's a great idea. Let's all like join up on the same front line. But then it makes fighting the front line a bit of a bitch. Eastern China. Yep. Well aware. 
Right, we've now got enough of those things. I think it's about time we started to do something with these paratroopers. We could get some paratroopers, actually, but do we have the ability to recruit paratroopers? That's the question. Um, and it's a very good one, in my opinion. Uh, right. Well, we don't have the capacity at this moment, but in about nine days, we will start researching planes. There we go. Right, we've improved our infantry equipment, which is a very good thing. So now we can start researching more to regard to planes. I know we're about four years out of date, but shut up. <laughs> it's how I deal with it, all right? Uh, should we have some heavy fighters? or well, You know what? We might need some naval fighters in order to ensure naval supremacy. And also then we could get some supremacy over the thing. Eastern China and Southern China. Uh, we may deal with that problem. Right, they're gone. Ah, uh, and the supremacy. No, that seems to be all right. Um, can we do anything regards to paratroopers? I mean, we've got an option in the focus trees to grab some. Yeah, para drop attack, para drop agility. Question: Can you guys para drop? The legio custodies, infantry equipment. What can I do? Can I para drop them? I know they're. No, I cannot. Right, these divisions cannot parachute. What about you? Neither can you. Can I create Falschirmjägers? I mean, I'd love to. And I think I might try them. I might try the Falschirmjäger route before we try the researching um, the naval route. <laughs> it's like a desperate bid to avoid any and all naval combat. <laughs> it's pretty much the case. I'm like, no! Look at a fucking toddler. <laughs> like a toddler in like a pram. It's like, I will not use ships! <laughs> Right, let's get some first Jägers. Oh, God, that would be hilarious. Right, next focus we get then, after that, is we will do these... Uh, where is it? Sign? Yes. The Saint is it the English language. An amazing ability that I lack at the moment. Right, so I need transport aircraft. Yes. We need some available. Okay. We need some actual factories. We've done all the focuses to get the factories in our sectors, correct? Uh, yes, correct. So, in theory... Right, construct... Const focus on the construction on our home bay. And then... We'll see how things go. Because infrastructure-wise, it's not quite up to scratch, but I think we're doing a pretty good job. Uh... I think if we try and do something along this line, I'm mean, building at least. That's something. And also, all this repair jobs. Hey, at least we can happily say that we no longer have to worry about. That's cool. Right, you lads. Make a push up north. Try and see if we can grab Valor. Oh, we actually grabbed Val Blood of Ostok. Nice. Uh, yeah. So now we need to figure out if there's a airport that can take us a thousand. Yeah, that's a thousand. Good. Okay, so... We now need to construct some transport ships that allow us to... Well, produce some transport ships. I think that's the appropriate word. Yay! <laughs> Go crazy. Okay, all of the transport. Let's, let's start going crazy. Also, well, of course. Go that way. Right, you... You, you, and you. Push that way. Just don't allow them to survive. Just enough to be able to do something. Right. You push towards uh, here to stop them from getting out. You try and organize your shit. Right. The good news is that we've been able to liberate Poussin. And in about a matter of days, we'll probably be able to fully liberate the sector. Oh, if only we could jump onto that island there. Hey, encryption. Good. Now let's jump onto the, that one. Christian, how much planes do you have? Well, we've got a fair amount of planes. We're going to have to somehow... F Is there any aircraft? Oh. 
Right, let's focus on you getting built up, because I think we need to. Yeah, you would. Let go down. There we go. There we go. Any music? Oh. Oh, is it censored it? No. <laughs> it's not. Uh. Ah, crap. I was thinking, oh my god, have they censored everything yet? And then I'm like, nope, they're just taking their time. Alright. Alright, let's quickly get this stuff sorted. Okay, so great job, we've secured this sector. So now all we need to do is gain tactical supremacy, or aerial supremacy, over the top. Which does mean we need to spend some time upgrading our... Uh, well. But it's fine, we have the Adeptus Astartes. They're great at smacking shit on the ground, but they can't swap flies out, alright? Give them credit. Fantastic. Right, how about that plane upgrade? <laughs> Wait, no, that's not the aircraft, or is it? Oh, it is! It is! It's just... I'm terrible at it. Right, cool. Uh, no, I think we might need to consider building up some aircraft as well. Just get me some aerial supremacy and I think we'll be fine. Yeah, that seems fine. Okay, so the good news is we actually finally won the war against... Oh, we've actually taken a significant amount. 40%. Uh, we've actually finally been able to secure a good chunk of China and Korea. or well, we all of China and Korea, but that's besides the point. Which is pretty epic, I'm not going to lie. Now we have to somehow figure out how to navally or aerially invade Japan. Which is something I'm not looking forward to, I'll be frank. And what I'm concerned about also is the fact that we have to go down here. Hmm. Oh, is this the whole... So, yeah. Right, so in terms of air supremacy, I've got... Yeah, I'm not entirely surprised. Hey, I've secured the airport. Try and secure me that territory if you can. Uh, aircraft. Right, let's try and see if we can research through this shit as much as possible. I don't mind Cheria being the thing. Just need enough territory to be secured over here so I can navally or I, I get some Fadishim Jäger. And question, if I can't even get Fadishim Jäger, because that's another amazing question I've yet to, I need to ask myself. Mm. Okay, no. <laughs> oh, whereabouts? Yeah, okay. There's some things I can kind of push the market on, but unfortunately that particular one is a no-go. Right, double time, double time, double time, double time, double time. Ah, oh, run, 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 run. Yes, Imperialist Armada, fantastic. Right, Imperialist Nautica, yes. Definitely a good idea. Get my custodies into position and be like, fuck your shit. I can't wait till they upgrade the, um... Fuck your shit, I'm out. I love how they're so quick that you have to- I'm struggling to keep in control of them. Like, fuck your shit, you're dead. And you're dead. So that's like another three to... Right, how many... What kind of shit do they have? Artillery, seven units, and one support company. Ooh. Ow. Even with their supremacy, it doesn't take long. I, I love these, this thing. I wish I could drop pod them. I wish they had jump packs. I miss the things of the, of the 40k universe. Alright, unfortunately these guys are very limited in what they can do. But if I can just drop them... Right... Uh, air power. I wish I could research this faster. Uh, tactical bomber or heavy fighters? Well, no, we already have the bombers, so really it's strategic bombers or tack bombers. I think I'll probably go with tack bombers for the sake of getting through quickly. Because then we could probably gain air supremacy over Hiro uh, Hirosh Yeah. Uh, 
Is there no air bases I can... Yeah, it's literally that. Shit, okay. Not really good, is it? Right, you lads, I'll deploy you down near Nanjing. I'll deploy you further south towards Hong Kong. And I'll deploy one of you to push towards Hangzhou. There you go. And then one of you will just stay up here to act as like a kind of counter. So each company should be able to hold off against a reserve. So now comes the bit of the awkward point, which is we have to kind of wait about a bit because we can't navally invade them. Annoyingly. Um, we do get the cruisers at least, which is nice. Question, do you even have a navy? You do. And quite a significant one at that. Right, we need to somehow figure out how to uh, institute pre Yay! Boom. Right. How's my army divisions coming along anyway? Are they finally getting resupplied? Kind of no. For some reason, they're just not getting resupplied. Man, that's kind of interesting, but also kind of pointless. Right, um, in about 31 days, we'll have finally some early form of Falschim Jäger. Right, outfitting Valkyries. Rolling form. Oh, oh this is mutually exclusive. Oh. Naval wings and naval wings in boosting defense from bombing. I mean, that would be pretty dope. But A, being able to having air supremacy, I think, would probably be the ultimate uh, goal. Uh. Marauder Bomber. Question. Marauder, that's the big one, isn't it? That's the big beaut, isn't it? Oh. Thunderbolt and lightning. Oh, right, yeah, we'll go. But we're going down the we're going down the the, the bombers. Well the um Outfitting Valkyries range and speed. Ooh, yes please. If we can get the ability to get some Polishim Jaegers built, I think we'll probably uh, benefit quite uh, dearfully. Also, boom, the war did go well, didn't go to shit, which is important, because otherwise it would be dead. Uh, truth be told, if those guys could navally invade them, that would be useful, I'm not going to lie. Um, right, I think finally he says, thinking... No, but they've just lost their sea access to there. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, if we can just get a bit of a punch up, we'll get a bit of a... Right, naval bomber. Great, great. Uh, strategic bomber. Stalwart. What's this? Holy craft. I'm going to hold. I'll just get all the back in. And the atmosphere. And the plasma bombs. Solving against... The you just look like a big tactical bomber, but sure. Um, ooh. We do actually get that as well. And I think that would be very useful, considering. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. Wait for a second. Let's see if we can... Okay, I can't do anything with that. Oh, wait, no. Yes, yes. Do that. That's going to take a long ass time, but worth it. Um... You're about except two days, three days. Question, can he be power dropped? No, but support artillery could be. Right, we'll search the heavy mortar and then what we'll do is we'll probably get the earth shakers potential support. Just so that way the Fudge Amigos get a chance to like hold their defensive line whilst I like, somehow get naval transport onto Hiroshima. Like the objective is either Nagasaki or Hiroshima. Probably go for Nagasaki just because it's a little bit of a Oh you dumb bastards. 
Really? That's a point. The rest of you also go there. Stay. GG. Right. We have Fallishim Yeagers. Fantastic. Can I recruit them? <laughs> oh, Thunder Warriors. We've got a lot of Thunder Warriors, apparently. I mean, if we waited two more years, apparently we could potentially get some Legion, Legion, Legions Astartes, which I'm looking for. I'd like that. But unfortunately, we don't get that for another two years. Well, year and a half now. Which sucks. Um, let me guess. Yeah, past the steel. Uh, right, okay. Some fucking Question Is anyone capable of being a power drop? Ironically, these guys are... Can't be power dropped. Is there a way I can, like, merge them together? Can we merge them? Not at full circle. Not at full circle. Do you see half of the divisions here? I can't consolidate. It's disabled for some of the units. Okay, so I'm going to assume if I consolidated some of these other dudes, we might get some of that. We're always apparently low on power unit, uh, power armor. Apparently, we've got more things coming along, which is great. We just need to be able to build more fighters. Which is in about 33 days, which sucks. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Right, let's see how long we've got recording for. 27 minutes, okay. Oh, oh that's nice. Hmm. What a Let's try and see what we can do. Because we're waiting. We're pretty much waiting at this point. We can't really do anything. So I might pause recording and, like, allow time to pass on a little bit. And if anything of immense change happens, then I obviously will let you guys know. Because at the moment, I honestly can't really see any major improvement chain um, occurring within the next 10, 20, maybe even half an hour. So, uh... I'll let you know, and if anything suddenly comes up, I can just instantly hit the pause button, so, you know, I'll see you then. And we're back, just clearing up the last of a small, in you know, insignificant force. The enemy have lost nearly one... <laughs> Jesus Christ. 1.16 million. GG. Anyway, so, yes, we have successfully killed a large number of enemies. But the reason why I'm talking to you now is because, well, two things. One, our armies have finally resupplied... What in the... L <laughs> I know. It's crazy. Um, and better still, uh, I think... And well, there is kind of good news and bad news. The good news is that I have researched the Falchimiega thing. And uh, we can do a lot of things. I've also got the Imperial Truth as well, which basically has bolstered up my manpower. And provided extra drift. And made certain things ex ex cheaper. I mean, obviously, this is... Well, it's already full now. Uh, but we're also we're going to try and see if if we can try and do something, because, well, the good news is, I'm currently doing this, Legions Astartes, Legions Astartes, which basically means I'm going to turn my Thunder Warriors into Space Marines, and Space Marines are very, very nice, um, they are very, very, very nice, and at the moment, a large portion of this army is made out of Thunder Warriors, so turning these guys into Space Marine Legions is going to be lovely, BOOM, Space Marines, Yay! Anyway, uh, so... We now have Space Marines, apparently. Which have purged a large portion of our troops. Legions Astartes. Oh, they look cool. Well, okay, they don't look cool. Space Marines? Culture, Okay, so we haven't got a, uh... 
Right, so well, I have to I have to purge them all out and well now I can recruit pa <laughs> can recruit para but question can legions no they can't paratroop but I can at least train a few and they're not special. Right, before we recruit this, hang on, let's turn the music back on. Oh yes, good good song. Right. So, with the Legion of Astartes, we have a oh, fucking hell, a uh, group of 40. Their soft attack is ridiculous. Their hard attack is very good. They are very, very good. Let's add some recon and an engineer company to that. They're elite, of course. They're space marines. What do you expect? They're the Emperor's Fear. Um, right, so they have become bog standards now. This is very good, because it means now that the only small units of that we got... Right, so what we can do now... We can recruit two more Falschimiego units. That's fine. That is okay. Um, I'll recruit them to go here. Two here. Yep, that'll be fine. Right. Legions, Astartes. We'll make ten of them. We'll make ten. And then we'll have them come in. Space Wolves, Star Hunters, Iron Warriors, Interest Children. <gasps> Jesus Christ, they're going to be stupid. It'd be awesome if we could import these models into the game, like they did with the Fallout series. That would be pretty dope, I'm not going to lie. Uh, at the moment, we're also in a bit of a trouble, because, you know, we need the other stuff. Uh, right, you guys need to deploy. Ah. Wait, seriously? 100,000 men. Are you serious? Oh, boy. Okay. Well, shit. Does that mean I can't train any more Legion Astartes? Well, at the moment, we can't afford to recruit some Stargies. Uh, right, have we updated? Mm, no, Mark II Crusader Power Armor. That's okay. We'll need a shit ton more to do stuff, but that's fine. Our factories are also quite low on stuff. What are we learning out of? Tactical Bombers? Yeah. Do we have any spares? No, we don't. So any factories can be capable of producing stuff like that. Because the issue right now is we need to secure the territories that we have and win the war against um, these guys. They don't have as many legions anymore. I think I outnumber them. Well, I did outnumber them, and now, of course, we've got this thing. I'm also now trying to recruit some Imperial Riders, but unfortunately we can't recruit those now. Uh, fuck puddles. Okay. <clears throat> I thought I was fascist. Closed economy. Why can't I only train 100,000? This doesn't make any sense. Why would I only be trained, allowed to train only 100,000? <clears> why am I only allowed to train 100,000? I'm very curious as to why that is the case. Um, right, cool. So we've got more fuel and other stuff, which is good. It's all, it's all nice and dandy. Um, right, so we've now got that sorted. Naval invasion? Doubt it. I mean, in theory, we could launch a naval invasion of Kokora and try and get to Nagasaki from that point, but I don't have naval supremacy. At least to my knowledge, but I have no idea. Right. Also, we're trying to build up my reser our reserves a bit. Hey, speaking of which, let's change that up a bit. Pissing, extra 100%. Or climatization plus supply grace. Uh, well, that's only 99 days, so I think we'll be fine. Okay, so at the moment, I've got myself some Astartes, and my Custodes are also doing a massively amazing job. And now, right, excavation, that's good. That's the one before this one, isn't it? Yeah. Eto, right, let's get some synthetic oil experiments going so we can actually prepare. And then four more days till the... Oh, fuck's sake. I blame you for this. Right, you guys make a move. But at least we've actually now finally got the peace and quiet we need to be able to uh, actually do this properly. I've also spread these custodians apart just to try and uh, ensure that they are held right. Right. 
do this as well because they are specialist legions. Go down the south. I mean, these guys are slightly overpowered. I'm not going to lie. Like, every encounter, we've, every group of soldier we've had that we've encountered with these guys, uh, we have destroyed them in terms of security. Or security? In terms of... Um... Right, cool. You lads over to there. Right, we'll reassign... Oh, that looks so cool. We need a field marshal again. I don't know why there's no field marshal. There you go. That, that field marshal. Yes. You. Uh, Duquesne, I think. Duquesne. He looks badass. Right, okay, so... Retrain you so we can use the new shit. It's going to be an ex super expensive. New tactical bomber. I know, I realize, but there's no bloody factories. Right. One. Try and build as many of these things as possible. We need to win this war. That's the big thing. If we could just. Right, how long is it taking those guys to be recruited? Right, apparently one more division has been assigned. I could only have train at most 100,000 men. Are you serious? Right, we'll cancel that production then. Right, three units of Fallschirmjägers. That will have to do. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed at the whole 100,000 army things. Maybe it was a balancing factor to stop so many people from fighting or something like that to make it so that you could fight things, but not having, only having, only having 100,000 seems a bit stupid, in my opinion, in terms of this mod. I think that's the first real issue I've got with this mod, is the amount of, um, is that sort of thing. Right, question. Can we get anything else? Fortification. Well, no, not really. Ugh. Uh, military theorist. Yes, because we need that. Electronics now? I'd say electronics now is the new concern. We've already got the small arms, so I now need motorization. Light air company. Still needing those air forces. Uh, naval. Yep. And tanks. Yep. Nothing special about them. Right, okay, what about you? You want me to lend least? You want me to apparently lend me this? Great. Don't, do I, don't I even need the Age of Strife. No, I don't. Well, at least I can produce land raiders now. Um, we need more of these things, but we need more factories. We also need nukes. How do we get research from them? Speed through. Nukes processing method. That's fantastic. Uh, da, 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 da. Is there anything I can do that helps my economy out a bit more? With the exception of over here, which I know is not going to be useful because, well, shit. Emperor class, what's this? The next years. Torpedoes, expedition. Which one excuse? Hmm, I'll probably stick with the battle fleets on that one. Um. Can't research any of that yet. Rough Riders. No, we'll go with that. We'll go with the Earthshaker things next as well, that jazz, because I think that will probably work out. Eastern China! Where is Eastern China? I'm going for that. Oh, right onto Shanghai! Oh, I'm so sorry. I know how important it was to you. Oh no! Your naval invasion's gone to shit! Shit. Oh well. Yeah, at this point, I'm not entirely sure how this to proceed, because it's like we need to just take Hiroshima. I think if we can just grab Niho, problem solved. Completely solved. Because at the moment, they are only 40%. Well, actually, no, they're, even 30, they're 39% away. Apparently, they will capitulate when there's 20% or less. Shit. I don't really want to have to contemplate this, the thought of having to go down here. I will have to, depending. Right. Grab them. Knock them out. Come on, come on, come on. And gone. Right, how many divisions these fuckers got? 24 to 30. 
40% again? Yeah, 40%. So we need to grab, I think if we can grab New Holm, that'll probably be a good start. How long until these guys are trained? Okay, well, our Legion of Stardies are there. We're producing shit over here. Question, if I were to... I don't really have the numbers now. Well, except for this group of soldiers here. How many naval vehicles... How much navy... Tell you a little about this region. Yeah, we need battleships and all that, and we don't have the fuel, which is why I want the function here, because... We wouldn't be able to supply the troops even if we did. Mm. As always, this particular game cripples me because I lack the knowledge on how to effectively wage war over the seas. Which really annoys me! <laughs> point of even having that if we can only have 100,000? No, would not say so. Right, uh, battleships. At least we can get this shit sorted. Right, so if we can get some battleships made, maybe what we could do is um, try and secure the sectors so that way we have a chance of defeating their navy. I'm not saying that's a clever idea. I don't need them to win all the time. I just need them to win enough territory so I can land troops on Kokora and Nagasaki, then then allows me to secure the island of Japan. I'm great on the land, just don't ask me about the navy. I'm like this in Total War. I'm not a big fan of the navy, especially in the older Total War. I say older, but you know, like older timed ones. And also the older ones. Like I'd say the only time of uh, Total War games I honestly feel more confident than anything else is probably the... is probably... the one about battleships? Yes. We can... Good days done. which is good, because then we can start that. Oh, hello. Hello, das ist Fallschirmjäger. All right, question. We've got those two, which will arrive relatively soon. Rough Riders, good question. Ah, wait, question. Earthshaker platform, that's the... Ah, shit. Medusa? I think it was just that one. Yep, let's check a platform. Literally just that. Dang, oh well. Do we have the um, concentrate? Yes, we do. Right, uh, construction repair at the moment. Let's see if we can get that going at the moment. Actually, you know, if we go to resistance suppression, and then whatever units of the Imperial Riders we can get, military police, Then turn you into MPs. Boom. Right, five of those guys will do. And then that way their training shouldn't be too bad. Korea, whereabouts? Literally on the point. Oh, actually that said though. You boys, go that way. Alright, cool. Almost. Well played. You, you respect. Which is a shame we can't drop these custodies into the territory. Right, now we need to somehow gain enough air supremacy over Japan. 
which will be a laugh. Uh, 600 versus 13. Can we recruit some more planes? Yep. All of my reserves. You are going to help knock out that territory and secure me that land. You are going to knock out that territory. You. Normal service. Thank you. We actually got some good shit. Right, question. Where's my transport wings? Any transport wings? No. Shit. We need the uh, we need to sacrifice some of these things for a year. No, thank you. Right, fuck it. We're gonna have to put it right at the top. Uh, let's go to the aircraft. Do we have transports? Hmm. Nothing about transport aircraft, is there? No? Shit, no. Alright, uh... Air doctrine... We'll go with the one of those, just for the sake of it. Right, uh, I think if we can just about, right, if we can get those other two Falschimiegas down, then we can actually get the stuff sorted. Just need the power armor, which... Uh, you know, we'll go to construction repair for the time being. Because then if we can, like, maximize our repairage. Yeah, like that. That will work really well. Uh... Duh, 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 duh. Damage control, transport. Yes! Definitely, definitely, definitely. We need transport ships, which then allow us to do that. And then that! Huzzah! Right. Nord China. English invasion. Yep, we know, we know. Right, okay. So, so far, so good. Just get these two divisions in. Three Falschimiega divisions, I don't think, will be at all a possible. But if we do this with surprise. Then maybe we can grab Nagasaki, secure that territory, and then our navy can... We need to grab the seat of Narthan, which needs attention. And we don't have a bowl. Oh, 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 there's the VTOLs. We'd need, some We'd need to somehow secure this... Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, hold the phone. Naval base! <laughs> Let us be a bit of a dick. Hansa can indeed leave, yeah? No, we're good. Thank you very much. I appreciate your determination, but no. Right, we've got the rocket engine aids going. Yes, fantastic. And we have some Legio. Northern China. What's going to be like with these guys? Right, okay, you fuckers. Right, Falschimigas. Is there anything special about you? Infantry officer, infantry officer. Nope, okay. I'll have you because you look like a menacing motherfucker. I need you to head over to Seoul. Go secure me that territory. Right. If we can do this, which I have full confidence that we can, if we can, like, if that port dock gets built, all of my guys can flood through to Nagasaki, grab that sector, and begin the process of destroying them. And then also that will reduce their chances of doing shit like this, which is like, like 200 days, that'll be fine. And then we could also begin the process of upgrading our ship. <sighs> One of these days this war's gonna end. I know it will. I just need to pray. Pray and pray again. And why not pray some more? Right. It won't be long though before these fuckers get trained and then I can actually 
Wait, 43? Are you serious? Like, I know I've got the training issue thing going on, but seriously. Right, what is missing from this tactical bomber? Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, there's no guarantee that I can secure and hold against... Uh, There's no guarantee I can hold against their navy, but if we can do something. Right, navy, how you doing? Right, the convoys I think are okay. Um, reason being, is there any more stuff regarding naval shit? No. Uh, right, well let's start producing some ships. need for this now? Right, okay. Battle... Constructing battleships is apparently a thing. Distribution class. Of course. Well, it would be, it would be too simple to just build shit, wouldn't it? Right, what do I need? I already have that, right? Oh no, I don't need to research this. Belt deck. 200 belt deck. Engineering. Right, so what? Do I need to put this research this? Right. When it comes to the production, what do I need to make this shit? What do I need? And slot battery. Okay, so we need engines and shit. Got it. Okay. And we don't have any shit there. That's fine. Okay, no, that's fine. Uh, okay. Okay, now I see... I, I, I see what I need to do. I, need, I see what I need to do. Right. I think for the time being, we're going to have to wrap things up this episode. Because I think we've been recording for well over... Yeah, like, well over the hour part. I believe, at least the time I've been recording. Well, stuff. Um, so apologies this episode hasn't been as muchly in inter interesting as the previous one, uh, but this one is purely about getting over one side of the biggest, my biggest hurdle in this game, which is Navy, because Navy is the bridge of all, of all things. Anyway, I will catch up with you guys another time. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this style of content, well, this style and not so much, but the style when I actually do shit, uh, let me know in the comments section down below. If you happen to know a good way of winning wars with navies faster, let me know of that, please, because this is the currently the biggest problem. I can win wars on ground, both in, like, Total War games, no problem, and other stuff. You tell me I have to get on the ship, and I will have a paddy, because it's like, I can't, <laughs> it's just a pain in the arse. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you then. This is Mr. Yeager, signing out.